Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The greatest steamboat race in history was held on this day, June 30th, 1870, between the Natchez and the Robert E. Lee, the two great steamboats racing from New Orleans to St. Louis, Missouri, a distance of 1,154 miles. John W. Cannon was the captain of the Robert E. Lee, while Captain Thomas Leathers piloted the Natchez. The race was more than just a sporting event. It has been called a personal duel between two men who were bitter rivals. It was reported that Cannon, desperate to win, had the Robert E. Lee stripped of all excess weight, carried only a few passengers, and used pre-ranged barges to increase the speed of refueling. Steamboat historians dispute that assertion, noting that neither boat made any advanced preparations. As they left New Orleans, the decks of each were crowded with passengers. In the end, Cannon and the Robert E. Lee claimed victory, completing the trip in three days, 18 hours, and 14 minutes. Leathers and the Natchez arrived in the St. Louis, making the trip in three days, 21 hours, and 58 minutes, a remarkable achievement since the boat had been delayed by thick fog for six hours. Sadly, the Robert E. Lee was destroyed by fire just south of Vicksburg in September 1882. Leathers finally dismantled the Natchez in Cincinnati in 1879. The great steamboat had made 401 trips in its nine and a half years of service without a single deadly accident. My name is Brianna Henson. I'm a sophomore at Adams County Christian School and this has been your Natchez History Minute.